hello guys it's so good to have you here again thank you for always tuning in to my channel you guys are simply the best i really appreciate you thank you also for attracting your subscribers to my channel this means so much to me and i do not take it for granted i am super super grateful yes you guys are awesome and don't forget this is saffron media and we are in the business of giving you the latest the hottest most reliable and authentic news yes if you want latest news reliable and authentic news this is the place to be so if you haven't hit the subscribe button what are you waiting for hit it right away because we want you to be a part of our conversation and we want you to be a part of this family thank you for always being here yes don't forget that president buhari was supposed to make a presidential broadcast yesterday but he was unable to do that reason being that mm, i wouldn't say that but before we give you details of that news hey guys be a part of this family subscribe hit the thumbs up button if you haven't and also ensure that you turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified anytime we drop a new video all right guys let's go into the details of the news he said a former lawmaker representing cardinal central senatorial district at the national assembly Assembly Senator Sheo Sani has revealed why President Buhari cancelled his scheduled nation, nationwide broadcast on Monday. <laughs> that is really tough to hear at the moment because Nigerians were eagerly waiting for their president to come forth and speak to them as regard the lockdown and COVID-19. But unfortunately, he wasn't there for the people, but somehow there was a, a, a um, I wouldn't call it a presidential broadcast. It was a government uh, uh, announcement to the people that about the lockdown. Yes. So it calls that news direct recalls that the national coordinator of the presidential tax force, he has the presidential tax force. Ali Yusani had on Sunday disclosed that President Buhari will be addressing Nigerians on Monday evening and he didn't do that. However, in a tweet on Monday afternoon, a presidential spokesperson, Femi Adeshino, said no presidential address on coronavirus update was planned for Monday. Yes, we saw that tweet too. He said President Buhari was not going to speak to Nigerians. Well, he knows his reasons, and some Nigerians also know the reason he's not speaking to Nigerians when he is supposed to. So according to him, the presidential tax force on COVID-19 would rather, during its usual media briefing, bring the nation up to speed on whether or not the country should go ahead with the second phase of easing of the lockdown. Reacting to the development on his Twitter page, Sheo Sani suggested that Buhari may have called off the presidential address in order to avoid backlash from angry Nigerians. I believe he already knows that. Yeah, that was what I was trying to, you know. Yes, Nigerians are angry and eagerly waiting for him to watch him on TV. They want him live, but he hasn't really come out live. All he has been giving and showing were pre-recorded uh, 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 um, uh, clips and Nigerians are tired. They want to see him live. They want to get involved in his presidential address to the people. They want to ask questions. They want to know uh, what is happening in the country. But it seems at the moment there's a lot of things hiding on the ground that they don't want people to know. So he's not coming out to talk to Nigerians about the lockdown because he knows if it is pre-recorded, it's going to bring another issue entirely so instead of him recording it again he has to you know just stay away then coming out to uh, give a pre-recorded broadcast i think that is why he's hiding so uh Sheo Sani said he said baba buhari wanted to come out and talk to you nigerians and when he peeped through the window instead of each of you holding a notebook and a pen you were holding stones <laughs> and he just went back to za the living room return your stones from where you picked them he tweeted yes that was shell sunny tweeting that baba peeped through the windows instead of seeing everyone holding a pen and a barrel to write exactly what it was you know trying to say he saw everyone's with stones and waiting hey sir are you pre is this a pre-recorded clip or this is live we want to see you live we don't want any pre-recorded any stuff yes and you know he said he zoomed to the other room and that was it so he said that that's it guys people were just eagerly waiting but uh, at the end of the day they were all disappointed not to hear from the president rather it was uh, from his aides that 
they were hearing about the ease of the lockdown or continuation of the lockdown yes which is not supposed to be yeah because there was no report if the president was ill or if he was okay and why he didn't address the people there was nothing but yet he didn't address the Nigerian people. I don't think this is right of this government to keep doing because it's bringing the people down and it's not making the people to be respective of this government. Guys, please drop your comments and tell us what you think. Do you think uh, President Buhari is right for not addressing the nation when he is supposed to? Or do you think there's something or there's a reason behind why he did not uh, um um, broadcast to the people of Nigeria. Don't forget to drop your comment and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, ensure you hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified. Thank you for always staying tuned. I really appreciate your time. I do not take this for granted. Do have a pleasant day. Bye.